What advice would you give um, perhaps to the audience listening in terms of how do we find that within ourselves to speak up? Tanya, I might go to you first, if I may, on that point. Yeah, definitely. It's a, it's a really interesting one and, and a lot to unpack there as to, you know, you're not talking about sort of decades, but also cultural impacts as to why we feel so reserved and, and speaking out for ourselves. I think a big part that we've seen um, at the CBI, but also amongst the business community, is making sure that everybody is on board. So something that we've really seen that it's not just the onus on, on women to own this agenda. Men need to be part of this conversation as well, um, even to pull you know women up up the ladder to, to get into those positions where they can challenge, but also then for, for women to bring the next generation up that ladder as, as well. So I think that's something that we have to keep at the, at the forefront of our minds, but that's where the uncomfortable conversations become really important. And actually as a business, as Kirsten has just mentioned, it actually also needs to be from the top down. We really fundamentally need to change the way that our workplaces operate this seismic cultural shift. We were trying to do this before the pandemic and we've got a really palpable sense of opportunity here where some of these behaviours that we are trying to sort of work around the edges with, we've really been jolted and we have to acknowledge that we cannot go back to working the way we were before, but we also need to look at the opportunities that, that come out of this. And one final point for me is just to acknowledge in terms of, you know, we're talking about businesses here and, and wider business community. We mustn't forget, actually, how far we've come in the UK and that we are, you know, leaps and bounds you know, away from the rest of our international counterparts. So there's a real opportunity here for the UK to set the agenda on what equality in the workplace looks like. Um, and I'd be really interested as, as well from the other panellists on their reflections on that, but also from the audience listening in.